miss me. Senior year, the best year of our young lives. Strengthening friendships made throughout your academic journey that would last a lifetime. Attending dances, sporting events, going out to lunch with friends, you name it. The typical movie-like high school experience. I done seen it all, my God. Uh. I done seen it all, oh my God, I swear. Nothing new under the sun, nobody fucking with sun I got a couple of sons, a couple of guns A couple of niggas that bust up the party and fuck up the fun She digging me and I'm cuffing a friend She igging you while we fucking for fun I got a suck in the thumb, that my little baby However, for the high school class of 2020 We now know that this was a vanished dream At first, fear and uncertainty were not on our minds we just thought we were going to have an extended senior break. Lack school schedule, free time to catch up on social media trends, having more time to go online with friends. This is when it felt like our little lives were at their peak. But as more news came out about the effects of COVID and the ways it could be lethal, our senior high died down and really set in, making us come to the realization that we would be stuck here for a while. To put this whole roller coaster of emotions into perspective, let's take it back to the beginning of this timeline senior year. Uh, life before the pandemic was just your normal average day, and being a senior in high school, you know, just, you know, just ch laid, chilling back, laid back. The It was definitely kind of a point where I was just like kind of happy because like the stress of like recruiting was over and also like a little bit of stress with basketball just because like wrapping that up. The basketball season just finished so or it was about to be finished so I was just chilling you know uh, you know making sure I was doing good in school you know good grades and everything. Uh, I feel like I can't even remember that well it feels like it was almost like a different life like Senior year, I was trying to live it as, as senior as possible, you know? 2020 was the year that we were supposed to graduate, so I know that was really exciting. I didn't really do much. I just went out with my friends a lot more. Um, like, we went out to Starbucks uh, at least once a week to go do, like, calculus homework or to do other homework. I skipped school a lot. Um, I just, like I said, it was very nonchalant, very carefree. Um, I... Yeah, I just kind of hung out and like had a good time at school, treated my senior year as a small stepping stone to my future and to what was going to come next and it felt very comfortable, it felt very comfortable. I think like socially, I might have been at my peak. I think I went out more than I normally did and like I interacted with my friends a lot more and we were just excited because it was senior year. It was a very fast paced life. My life was uh, every day going to school, then after going to either swim practice or helping out my mom, taking the kids either to practice, to school, or a other extracurricular activities. In my free time, just, you know, just having fun as like, you know, just doing senior, senior type things, you know, just messing around, but still doing good in school. In the year 2020, I remember it starting off so well, but then was suddenly hit with tragic news. The sudden death of Kobe Bryant shocked the world. Breaking news from this Sunday afternoon, five-time NBA champion, former league MVP, Kobe Bryant died earlier this afternoon. News to tell the sports world, the LA Times is reporting that retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. Where we are learning that five people have been killed in a helicopter crash in Calabasas. Tonight, the new report on the crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and seven others, including their pilot, who in their final moments told air traffic control they were climbing to 4,000 feet.
but in reality, they were falling, according to the NTSB, evidence that the veteran pilot may have been disoriented in the fog. During this time period, we started hearing about a little-known virus called the coronavirus. We're going to begin here with the outbreak of a mystery virus in China that now has the World Health Organization on edge. At least four people have died and hundreds more are sick. The growing health scare, the respiratory virus outbreak coming from China, now setting off global concerns. At least two people dead and dozens sick. And we're learning of more confirmed cases. The mystery virus started here in the city of Wuhan. Chinese authorities pinpointing its source to this food market. 300 confirmed cases are at hospitals like this one here in Wuhan. Ground zero for this mysterious virus. And it's also showing up in other cities as well as Japan, Thailand and South Korea. The concern, of course, how to stop it from spreading. A Chinese scientist has confirmed that it can be transmitted between people. Throughout recent years, our generation has the tendency to suppress and belittle serious topics by making memes about them. Despite the initial adverse effects COVID had on people in its country of origin, we joked about it and did not think it was going to make it to us. Looking back on this, we were so foolish. I actually remember the first moment I ever saw anything related to COVID, and it was an article about the first positive COVID patient. Um, like, it was saying, like, man contracts novel coronavirus from bat, right? This seems kind of crazy, this seems kind of weird, but, like, probably won't turn into much. Like, I, I, I wonder when people will, like, kind of let this one go. Like, maybe it'll be around for a week and it'll be in that week news cycle of, like, oh my god, this is crazy, did you hear that this happened in China? We were in, I was in my, uh, AP Human Geo class, and every day we were just talking about it. And at first it was, like, we had these little warm-ups, and he was like, oh, uh, you know, something similar to Ebola is affected in China. And we're expecting it to be similar, like we're going to get a little quick, you know, antidote to this and we'll be fine talking to the States. I guess I wasn't too concerned. I didn't, I didn't start to like worry, worry until like February about like an actual potential like global pandemic. And then sure enough, <laughs> it was everywhere. I, the only like real distinct memory I have was when we were all together in, um, except for Mark, fortunately, when we were all in um, Gimmer's class and we were all making fun of it and I remember how it was like, oh, it's not going to make its way over here. So I remember the first time that I heard about it was actually in January uh, because I went to go get a haircut at one of my friend's aunt's house and uh, they were like on Twitter. Um, and they like had found out about like this like COVID-19 like and uh I remember just talking about it with them and like discussing what it was but I guess like COVID wasn't even like the actual like like that's like a generic like uh what's it called like a term is, uh, not, yeah like a generic term um and I remember like uh, my friend's aunt was like, don't talk about that anymore. Like, I'm a hypochondriac. Like, I don't want to hear it. I'm going to start speaking that I'm sick. But I didn't think that it, it was going to be, like, a big deal because I had never heard of it. And this is the first time that I had ever heard of it. Um, and then I remember starting to hear about it more in March. Um, and, like the, like, the end of February and March. Mm -hmm. And, again, didn't really think it was going to be that big. Um, didn't know that it was going to affect us. I mean, two years into it and look where we are still having to wear masks, still being scared because so people are getting tested positive and it's really scary thing. I mean, I knew it was bad, but I knew we had similar virus breakouts like that in the past that were able to be contained. So, and especially with it not even being first found here in America, it seemed even more like a distant thought than a possible reality we'd have to face. When I first heard about it, I thought it was going to be more something like how you, like, pretty much like Ebola or like, you know, just something more minor. Not that Ebola isn't, uh, like, that it isn't, like, extreme. Like, and then next thing you know, 
like people in Sacramento started to get it, or like Northern California, there was like one case, two cases, and it was, it just started to uh, kind of snowball. It was bad. Okay. But it was, it was cool to, it was honestly kind of cool to like see it kind of develop over time, because I was in that, that human geo class, so it's kind of like all we kind of focused on is that geography. Mm -hmm. We get the news that we're going on a two-week break. To be honest, most of us were excited. When I found out that there was uh, that, we have, that we had a spring break or an extended spring break, two-week spring break, I didn't think of it much. I thought, you know, nice, we're gonna get an extra week off, and things, you know, I stupidly thought that things would be fine in two weeks. Maybe we'd have another extra additional week. For things to cool down um it seemed like a blessing and a curse it seemed like i got freedom i hadn't had before <clears throat> but i also got isolation i hadn't had before so i had a freedom from school but i also had isolation from everything that i enjoyed doing so it was like a double-edged sword i didn't have to do as much school work which i was you know who wouldn't enjoy that but then I also didn't have the chance to really get out and do anything it's like when you're a student you know especially I mean I don't know maybe some people they really really love school like to the extent where like oh I can't go a day without school but I mean I mean a lot of people they, they kind of it was like a love-hate thing it was like man well at least I don't got to really worry about school because I mean they, they didn't even like for seniors especially I think for the whole school basically if, for online classes just if you uh, attended a class you basically got credit and you passed the class so it was kind of like Oh, well, at least I don't really got to put in that much work, you know, especially because online learning sucks, you know, it's hard to stay focused at home, especially with all these distractions and stuff. A lot of people were saying like, oh, we're going to have like an extended spring break, like, see you guys in April. And they were just like making a lot of jokes. And mm -hmm. I didn't like participate in them per se, but I was like, oh, yeah, like, like, uh, for sure, like not thinking anything was going to happen. When I got home, I remember I had just got right out of the shower and uh, I received a text because we had a like a 2020 group chat with our high school um, mm -hmm. classmates and they were saying they had said like school is going to be online or school is going to be canceled until like April or whatever like for, here, for three weeks I forget what it was um, and I remember like dang like thinking like oh they were actually right like this was the last time that we we're gonna see each other but still hopeful that we would see each other after spring break in retrospect it was pretty sad yeah. to realize that you know there are a lot of friends that i didn't realize this would be like literally my last time seeing them and you know everyone wants to go do awesome things but you know i'm just in touch with them vaguely through like social media and, and, and whatnot so um, initially it was definitely fun like I was planning to do stuff with that extended spring break. Oh I was ecstatic I was <laughs> because especially during this time um, because I was uh, in match up we were planning this dance and um, like oh it's gonna be this big dance it's gonna be huge I was not expecting much like I was like nervous about it and then we had to cancel it and I was like because I was just like, what if it's a big letdown? I don't want it to be like, I don't want that to be my mark on Mecha Club as the president. Um, that's so selfish to think of it that way. But that was like one of the biggest worries I had was um, that dance. And so like little old me was ecstatic about an extended spring break. So the first day that we were big stressing about COVID um, and the day that we kind of like I would say was the day that we found out, you know, at least about this two weeks off, the last day of like proper school, which ended up being our last day of high school altogether. Um, I skipped school to go and see a girlfriend that was in a completely different school district and I didn't really treat it as much, like it was scary, um, especially since the girl I was dating at the time was a foreign exchange student. And so I was honestly more scared as to what was going to happen to her being in the States than I was really about coronavirus as a whole. I thought it was kind of cool that we got two weeks off. I really didn't expect it to hit the, the high that it did. Um, but like, I thought it was just an awesome time to be able to take some time off, 
potentially see this girl I was dating for a, a little bit more throughout this two weeks off because we both had it. Um, so I really wasn't too stressed about it other than just what was going to happen for her being an international student. However, what started off as an extended spring break snowballed into something much more, something that we would never wish upon our worst enemies.